doing some dishes this evening and the house was quiet so I thought I'd grab the camera and see if we couldn't just have an old-fashioned visit for a few minutes. I don't know how um, well the volume will work with this clinging and clinging on dishes so I will try to be quiet with it and get my job done. Last uh, visit we had in this fashion I was um, dicing cabbage and I didn't get much diced and I had one viewer who was concerned that the knives were going too close to my finger um, at one point. <laughs> and I looked and I thought, oh my, they were pretty close, but I was feeling the knife, so I think I was okay. But at any rate, um, let's see, the last video we put out was uh, Saturday. And before that, we did an update on Ron's mom and her passing. Um, we found out just yesterday that her memorial service isn't going to be till the 25th so that gives us a little bit more time to get things together to so that we can go down um, a little more freely and not feel too too crunched up here with what we've left RJ to handle so that's that's a good thing but the real reason that I wanted to talk with you guys this evening was um, we did a video I think it was right before we talked told you about Ron's mom's passing about um, think. the video was uh, one that we did we did a video on making bread but I'd asked the question to our viewers about um, what draws you to different YouTube channels what is it that they present to you that they give to you that you're willing to share your time with them we had a few viewers, we had a, first off, we had a really good response. We got a lot of people who commented on that, um, shared their likes and their dislikes. And I, I love it when people, you know, interact in the videos. It helps us see. We don't get to know you folks. Outside of your comments, we have no way to get to know you. So when you comment, even if we don't um, respond right away or, or if, even if we're not able to respond at all, we read every single one. And that gives us the opportunity to get to know you more on a personal basis. Um, I've had a few viewers that I was able to later, who, who would comment regularly, and later I was able to put a face with them. Because that's an oddity for a YouTube creator. If seldom do we get to put faces with our commenters. So comments are important because that's our opportunity to get to know you. And faces, when we can put a face, whether we find out later, you know, one of the commenters has a channel or, or we, we find them on Instagram or they find us on Instagram and we can see their faces, it's really an amazing time for us. We really like that. But at any rate, we had a lot of good comments. Um, and I'm still, with everything going on, I know you guys understand, I'm still working on the past four or five videos, catching up on comments. I just, oh, it's just crazy. I've wondered how big channels do it. And I, I look at them and I see that they don't really interact at all. And I can understand why, because it's hard. But at the same time, it's one of the best things about YouTube um, is the comments and knowing people are watching and why they're watching and what they like or even what they don't like. Um, it, it's part of, I guess, modern day communication. You used to be sat on the front porch and now you sit in front of the camera or the screen. So, at any rate, um, the one video we did with the question is where I'm, I'm headed there. I feel like I'm talking to my family. I got so many questions coming at me or voices coming at me at once. I get so easily sidetracked and now I find I do that. Even when I'm thinking to myself, I get sidetracked so easily. My thoughts just go scattered. But there seemed to be some concern. No one said it. But several people implied it um, when they said that they just wanted us to keep going the way they were going. I, I felt they were, might have been concerned that because we asked the question that we were seeking information so that we might be able to change some things about our channel. And I have to tell you this. that is The question was asked absolutely not for that reason. That was the furthest thing from my mind when we asked that question. But it is true that we are looking at our channel and looking at um, things that we can improve it. And I'm going to tell you why improve it, all right? We've had this channel since 2010. Um, we, we've got a spurts, life happens, you know. But each time we dedicate time to it, it we usually feel very impressed with God. And when we pull away from it, it's usually ourselves that pull away from it because things get busy and we just, something has to go. And that's one of those 
first things that I pick to go. Um, and I don't know that that's always right. Because each time we come back to YouTube, we feel stronger and stronger being led back to YouTube that it is a form of ministry. And in the past year, God has really impressed in our hearts that that's, that's what it is. We all, you know, we, I've talked before with you folks about um, a ministry. For us, being a min our ministry was to have home fellowship. And this is kind of is what it's turned into, okay? YouTube is like that. YouTube is an encouragement. It's like a home fellowship. We sit around the table. We get to know each other. Um, we try to be real with you folks. We, you know, we, of course, we can edit out anything we want, but we try to leave enough in so that we show that we know we're, we're, we're just human and we make mistakes and so that you see us knowing that we're human. I think it's important because so many people behind, on the other side of the screen, when you're watching us, um, we can edit so much out. I think there's, there's a, a sense of um, perfection that you can't obtain in real life. And so we, we've tried real hard to be real there because we want you to feel like you are in our home and that you are with our family. So, if we're going to change anything, it's going to be to create that more for our channel, that um, we try to find, figure out how to reach further beyond the screen and share our life and our faith in a deeper way that you can actually feel it and you can be encouraged by it and you can encourage others because you've been encouraged. We're always encouraged by our viewers. I'm out of dishes in my pan. I'm not out of dishes. I'm just out of dishes in my pan. I'll be right back. So what I, what I was saying before I had to reload my sink here, uh, we are always encouraged by our viewers. You know, so many of our viewers will tell us how we encourage them. And we are so, we feel so honored to be able to do that, to be used of God to do that. But y'all don't realize how much you encourage us. Um, I, you know, I think that's the thing about any time you reach out to to encourage someone or just to, to be a blessing to someone, you always get blessed twice back. I mean, it's it is just, a, it's we always feel like we're taking from our viewers. Um, now, with that said, I want to share some other things. Um, because we, we've been trying to spend more time on YouTube, um, to do more things and it does take a lot of time you know I know a lot of people um, point out right away and I don't blame them at all that one thing that turns them off about a channel is a channel that constantly is pushing for them for the viewer to donate or to support the channel and I totally agree um, in fact you know not when I um, did the video on Tessie Homestead Tessie and I um, did a shout out to her. Love her channel. She's, she's a great person. But I had mentioned in that video that I, we hadn't done a shout out for a long time because of the last shout out we did. Um, it was a channel that we really, you know, we, we hadn't been watching it for too long, but what we had seen we really liked. And it, um, it was moving along fairly nicely. And we just thought, you know, we'd encourage our viewers to go check it out. Well, it wasn't long after that point that the channel started to have that handout all the time. And that is a turnoff. That is a real turnoff. Um, in fact, we quit watching it. And just recently, kind of felt drawn back to maybe see if things have changed. And actually, things had changed. They, they don't do that quite like they did. Um, I think they found out it didn't work real well. But on the, on the other side of the spectrum, um, I think it's okay when channels, you know, the reality is channel, doing a channel is a lot of work. Nobody makes us do it. We do it because we want to. All creators, all right? We're not forced to do this. To do this, um, But it is a lot of work. And the more people that you reach, the more you want to be able to reach. Now, that's not necessarily, I'm sure it's greed for some, but through a ministry perspective, it's not. I mean, the more people, you want to reach more people. There are people out there, just like us, that all have problems and all need encouragement or all try and find a, a, a foundation or a path. And when you have the answer, it is Jesus Christ, you want to reach. I mean, that's true. But there are ways to do it that are not um, 
that are not tacky, all right? We, we started monetizing just in the past year and a half. It took us, like I said, we've had a channel since 2010. We just didn't feel comfortable about, all about it. And we still weren't sure for the first probably year we monetized. And I'm still not even sure today, but things have been going okay. Nobody's really complained about having to watch the commercials. Um, as far as income, it's really, uh, our channel is just not big enough for it to create anything of, of depth. But it's, it's just kind of seeing, you know, it, it's just one of those things you just try to do and see if it, it helps things along. Um, we are an Amazon affiliate. We have not um, listed any items except one. And when the one we have listed, we haven't told anybody about. So I guess my point is this. Um, devoting as much time as we have been to YouTube and disliking asking for support because you guys when you watch these videos that's support all right that's how we view it it's that support but if you see links down below in our channel write-ups if we start putting links in whether it's for an amazon affiliate um, we've actually had people contact us to say hey you know what i'd like to be a, a patreon um, supporter on your channel do you have a patreon account um, we've not pushed any of that stuff and we won't push any of that stuff but but I am going to start putting the stuff under the listings because there are people that feel led to to maybe they just feel that they they want to do a little more and that's that's fine if that's how you feel. So I ask this from our viewers. First off, don't think ever think that we're asking um, outright for support from you folks. All right, you like I said, your viewing is support enough. But also at the same time, if you scroll down and you're reading and you see links, please don't think poorly of us either, all right? Um, every ministry needs support. Every channel out there, you know, whether it's cable TV or whatever, they've got advertisers and stuff. And we all just, we're all just trying to figure out how can we give more time to our channel for those of us that see it as a ministry, we're never going to make it big. It's not our point. It's not to make it big. It's just if we have more freedom to spend more time, then we can make more videos. Not necessarily better. I'll still plan on doing the dishes in front of you. That's stupid. Um, So I guess that, that might be considered a channel change that we put links down below. Um, and again, that's just for anyone that that feels an additional lead. That is not for um, a heavy push for support. The other change that is coming to our channel is we're trying to get into a flow. We had actually started a pretty good flow of daily videos. And then um, some stuff started happening with Ron's mom and stuff, and um, we haven't been able to record our daily devotions as regularly as we had been. Um, we had to miss a few the past couple weeks, and we're just trying to get into a good flow to know, um, so you can depend on when a video, you know, what well, video is going to be up on this day at this time. There was a few days we did a couple videos, and we might find um, on devotional days. I'd like to try to do devotional days on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday. Um, it's been my target goal, and I, I've not met them, but I'm going to try to pick up that gauntlet and go with it this coming week. Um, but I also know that we have some just some fun things that aren't real time-consuming, for video production that we'd like to do and we might find that we're doing double videos on days like that um, and I don't know how to let you folks know that except just you know check our channel a couple times a day and see if we have more than one video up so um I guess that's that's it for now please let me know that you don't have to, or don't do Facebook and I totally understand that um, our Facebook use, we have a personal account because we have to have one in order to have our um, 
pages, okay? And other, I find that if I allow feed to come through my personal account, um, we get a lot of different voices. And you know, it's so easy to get your mind, it's like we've talked before about watching too much news. It's so easy to get your mind shifted where it shouldn't be that um, I, fi I have found myself over the years that if I allow myself to do that, it can really be taxing. It is. It's like listening to news. You know, you get all these articles coming through and all these people's opinion. So it's been some time ago, I want to say almost a year ago, um, I had come off of a, I called a Facebook fast. And I, you know, I jumped right back in to reading people's posts and wasting time. And I felt the Lord say, you know what? I want you to, um, you don't unfriend people, but you can cancel the feed coming through your page. So I have no feed coming through our personal page. That way I don't get drawn into something that is counterproductive to what I need to do. And it's, um, it's safe for us that way. We can still be, we still have, you know, our friends. I, I haven't, people send friend requests, and to be honest, I don't even, I don't even accept them because um, we're never on the page. We're never on our personal page. The only time I'm on there is if I know I have a message and I, I'm notified that in my email coming through from a family member. Um, and because we do use Facebook um, calls for my mom because we don't have service, phone service on the property and we don't get self service here. So I do use Facebook phone call to keep in contact with certain members of our family. Um, but outside of that, I use it for our Family Heritage Living page and now for this group. So my point in saying all that is that I totally understand not doing Facebook. I wish there was another way we could do this um, off, off of Facebook. You know, I don't know. Um, I just wish there was another way to do it to where everybody that wanted to partake in it could. Um, I'm not even sure if it's been a, I don't think it's been a week. What's the day, what is today? Today, Wednesday? Um, I don't think it's been a week. I think we did it, did we start it Friday? I don't know, we've had quite a few ladies, about 100 ladies that have joined up or more. Um, I haven't looked at the last count. Um, but it had seen a lot of ladies uh, interacting and, uh, you know, uh, prayer requests and things like that. So that's been been kind of neat. But that's, that's about where that's at. All right. So I guess that's all the updates. Um. that I'll share at this point in time. So, well, I hope you all have a blessed evening and enjoy your your family some tonight. You know, that's what our, our channel's name, Family Heritage Living. We changed it shortly after we started the channel. I think it, we started off calling it Artisan Acre. We had one acre down there and um, we weren't quite sure where we were going with the channel, but it didn't take us long to realize that, you know, the heritage that we want to encourage people in um, isn't just homesteading, and it isn't just, you know, creativity, frugalness, but it's making sure that the reasons why you're doing those things is a heritage for your family. Um, family heritage living, what kind of heritage do you want to leave? to your children. So, with that said tonight, I pray you guys make sure you take some time to enjoy your family and have a blessed night. We'll talk soon. God bless.